I mean, Taft girl, um, if you guys want to be on the show, let them know and uh, we'll get you on the show as well. Round of applause to them for all their hard work. Thank you so much, guys. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes. It's a little shout out to the amazing event. Make sure you guys are favoriting them as well and go check out um, what else they have going on. They put in a lot of work. I just have to show up and look pretty. <laughs> so, so nice. Thanks, guys. Woo! All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. This is Tic Tac Trivia. That's right. We're here every Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern, where my two scheduled guests will hop into the box and answer these trivia questions right here. We have 2000s, TV and movies, history, 90s, science, sports, 80s, geography, and newly added back is the Disney category. It looks like a little Mickey Mouse head. So that's the Disney category. Um, and we also have some bonus categories. So we have a wild, uh, that will be a random category. If you get the wild correct, you can put your X or O wherever you like on the board. Uh, like I said, the contestants will be answering these trivia questions and they'll be trying to get three X's or O's in a row, just like tic-tac-toe. And if they do, they get a chance at the bonus round. Speaking of bonuses, we have the wild uh, and we also have a chance. Uh, if you get this correct, you have the chance to go again. If you get this incorrect, your opponent has the chance to steal. That's right. Speaking of steal, we also have a steal. Uh, if you get this one correct, these are all random categories. If you get this one correct, um, then you're able to steal one of your, you have to actually steal one of your opponent's spots. You can boop their X or O out of there um, and you can take that over. So there we go. That's our categories. Um, and like I said, our contestants are going to get into the box and they're going to take turns answering those trivia questions. Um, and they're going to put an X or O whenever they get it correct. If they're X's or O's, they're trying to get three in a row. Um, and if they do, they get a shot at the bonus round. Now we usually have time for two bonus rounds, uh, but if things are just flying by, then we do have time for three. And then, and so whoever wins the most bonus rounds will be our winner of Tic Tac Trivia today because we always want to leave here with the winner and we don't want to leave with a tie um if there is no winner of the bonus round or there is a tie for the bonus round then we do go to sudden death where we will determine who will be the winner so do stay tuned until the very end to see what happens and please make sure your favorite my wonderful contestants uh when i get them into the box here in just a moment as well as the top three gifters of the stream whoever the top gifter is at the end uh will get their name up here in lights little shout out on IG, songs will be sung and stories will be told. And audience, we want your help. That's right, my contestants won't be turning off their comments. They will be looking to you for some aid. So feel free to answer the questions, uh, have fun. Uh, you can help, uh, you can hinder our contestants, uh, whatever you like to do. And if you don't know the answer, feel free to just type something uh, hilarious, but also PG. Excellent. All right. The outlook is good on having a great game here today. Welcome, friends. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Like I said, this is Tic Tac Trivia. We're here every Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to be on the show, just let one of my amazing admin know. All right. I think that is all the rules. Those are the categories. Um, we're going to get our contestants into the box and I'm going to get out my little popper here so we can determine who goes first. That person will pick X or O and that will be their letter. Uh, and then when we go back to the first person, you're going to hear this sound. And the categories are going to switch around. So our categories are not always going to be in the same spot. That's right. And if you love this game so much that you just can't get enough then come on back an hour after the show we have audience edition tic tac trivia so you guys can all play uh from the comments and have a chance as well to get to that bonus round Woo! all right you guys without further ado let's get our amazing contestants into the box we have beard reader versus deadshot today so we're gonna have a good show let's go well, my contestants Please request the box and come on down to Tic Tac Trivia. All right. I see Beard Raider. Woo, Deadshot, are you in the house? 
You sure are. That's what's up. All right, we got Beard Raider. Welcome. Ooh. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Here we go. Oh, dead shot. Welcome. Are you are you ready, dead shot? Ready. <laughs> ready. ready. You guys ready. should see the group chat comments. It's wild. These guys are ready. <laughs> We've been preparing for this all week. We're ready. <laughs> I feel like I should play Eye of the Tiger yeah. before we get started, but I can't. So <laughs> just imagine yeah. in your head. You know, though, Deadshot's my guy. So it doesn't matter who <laughs> wins tonight. Like, yeah. That's I great. Mean, I, we am love some... win. I am going to win tonight, but it doesn't really matter who wins because we're, we're still cool like that. But it's going to be me. Up. We love some friendly competition. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. And do you guys have any questions about the rules? Nope. Nope. We're good. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's get out a little popper and we'll get this game started here. All right, Beard Raider, give it a little pop here. And you got the six. The six. Nice. Woo All right. And dead shot. Give it a pop. And oh, also a six. Ooh, oh, God. All right. <laughs> what a way to start here, folks. All right, let's give her a dead shot. <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes later, we're still tied on this dice. Okay, here we <laughs> We got Beard with a four. Four, four. here. All right, All dead right. shot. Give it a pop. And a one and a one. So that means, Beard, you are starting us off. Awesome. Would you like to be the X's or the O's? I'll go X's. X's, all right. And X's up top there. All right, that means you get to start us off. What category would you like? Let's go with Disney. Woo, Disney, all right. That's exciting, because I think no one chose Disney last time, so. All right. How could you Here's not want to choose Disney? I know, right? <laughs> all right, here is your Disney question. Deep breath. Okay. All right. In Aladdin, who is the Sultan's royal vizier? In Aladdin, who is the Sultan's royal vizier? Jafar. Jafar is. Correct. It is indeed Jafar. He is the <laughs> he is the vizier. <laughs> Woo! Way to go! All right. Give you an X for the Disney. <clears throat> and then over to you, Deadshot. What category would you like? Uh, let's go with sports. Sports. All right. Let's get us a sports question. All right. Here is your sports question. Who scored the famous Hand of God goal during a 1986 FIFA World Cup quarterfinal match? Who scored the famous Hand of God goal during a 1986 FIFA World Cup quarterfinal match? I never know if the sports ones are going to be hard because they're all hard for me. So. <laughs> I'm going to go with Pele. Pele, okay. And Pele is... I lost the question. Pele is, oh, sorry, incorrect, incorrect. It was Diego Mar Maradona. Maradona? Diego Maradona. Sorry, and I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Too. Good try. Good try. All right, Beard, we're going to go back over you in our category. We're going to switch around here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What category would you like? You know what? Let's stick with what I know and go TV and movies. TV and movies. All right, let's get us a TV and movies question. All right, here is your TV and movies question. Where do all the firings take place on The Apprentice? Where do all the, the firings take place? 
In the boardroom? Yeah. That is correct. It is indeed in the boardroom. I, I watched that show. That was, that was <laughs> I know that answer. <laughs> Way to go. I didn't like how Ooh. you paused there, Lux. You scared me for a minute. <laughs> I didn't hear you properly. I'm sorry. I was like, wait a second. No, it, it's the boardroom. I know it's the boardroom. <laughs> I didn't want to repeat the answer and then be like, oh, now I just told you. No, I said <laughs> in the ice cream parlor. Oh, okay, I didn't hear that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Deadshot, over to you. What category would you like? Let's go for the block in the 80s. 80s for the block. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right, here is your 80s question. John Davidson hosted what game show between 1986 and 1989? Well, John I was born Davidson. In so... <laughs> John, I don't, I don't know the host of this. John Davidson hosted what game show between 1986 and 1989? <laughs> it's like I shouldn't go with that, but I'm gonna go with Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares is correct it is indeed hollywood squares <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, i thought that was gonna be the fastest <laughs> first round too all right back up to beer and our oh yeah our categories are switching around here yeah I forgot how to play this game today all right do, do, do. all right beard what category would you like you know Let's just go 2000s. 2000s. All right, let's get a 2000s, 2000s question. We'll, we'll try it. OK. I wanted 90s, but you moved it, and I don't want it there. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give you a 2000s question. Here we go. Um, who plays Hillary Swank's coach in Million Dollar Baby. Who plays Hilary Swank's coach in Million Dollar Baby? Isn't it, wait, isn't it, um, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood okay. is correct. It is okay. indeed Clint Eastwood. Oh, wait, wait a second, I know that movie, like, okay. <clears throat> Woo, all right, 2000. Oh. Thank you, Mark. I didn't even notice that you put it in there. That would have been easier <laughs> to just read the comments. <laughs> All right, then, Sean, over to you. What category would you like? Uh, let's go with science. Science for the block. All you right. can have it. You can have it. <laughs> let's get us a science question. OK, here's our science question. Okay, science is green. Okay. She said photosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if that's actually the answer. That would be, that's happened before. Like they were like, I don't know, they were like on the subject. Like, all right, here is your science question. Roger. What kind of bird, what kind of bird includes species named rockhopper, macaroni, and gentoo? What kind of bird includes species named rockhopper, macaroni, and gentoo? Uh, I don't know. The comments uh, are wild. I would go with the audience on that one because I'm pretty sure they're Everybody's saying, I'm, I'm going to go penguins. Penguins. Okay, everyone's going penguins. Well, it's a good thing you chose that because it is indeed penguins. I knew the macaroni penguin. I didn't know the other ones, but I knew the yeah. macaroni penguin. Okay. I knew the rock hopper, but not the other ones. All right. Woo, sign to the block. We got us a game here. All right, Deadshot. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what? I'm going history. <laughs> All right. You're going, oh, and I have to move around the categories because it's your turn. Oh, again. yes, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not moving history. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. What are we, what are we doing? Science. What are we doing? Don't do science. <laughs> For the love of God, don't right. do science. There oh, we go. What category? 
<laughs> Lord. I guess I'm still going to go with history. History. We're going to go with history. All right. Let's get us a history question. All right. History is. Yeah, oh, I didn't think about that. Whoops. I should have gone oh, for this. Oh, I well. haven't read the. I haven't read the question yet. Technically, your finger is still on the the, All right, I'll the go pawn. For the steel, so then. You're gonna go for the steel. Okay, as long as the question yet, is not read, yeah, you can. I should put that in the like original rules that you can. Okay, so we're gonna go for the steel. All right, yeah. for the steel, is a random category. All right, and here is your random question. It's a TV and movies question. TV and movies. oh, thank God. Here we go. What is the name? Of Peppa Pig's little brother. Oh. What is the name oh. of Peppa Pig? I don't know yeah. this. My kid loves this show. And you don't know it? They're going to kill you. <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Can I go ask my kid? <laughs> uh, oh, dear. What is the name of Peppa Pig's little brother? Actually, I don't think it's, jo isn't it Georgie? Is it George? George. We'll go George. We're going to go George, final answer? We'll go George. And George is? Correct, it is oh, George! Oh, <laughs> <Nice one. laughs> Woo, way to go. <laughs> All right, and that was for the steal. What spot would you like to steal? Hmm, let's see. I could go for either one of those. Why don't we just go for the one in the middle? We'll make it we'll make it look cool. Yeah. In the middle. All right, and that's three in a row. That's tic-tac-toe. That means you're going on to the bonus round. Woo! But don't go away, dead shot, because you're gonna have another shot at the bonus round coming up right after this. And everyone, this is tic-tac trivia. If you're just getting here. We're here every Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern, for this featured show where my scheduled contestants take turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's or O's in a row. And if they do, they get a shot of this bonus round that's coming up right here. Beard Raider has made it to the first bonus round. Um, and then we'll be on our way <laughs> to the second bonus round. So you guys, make sure you're favoriting my amazing contestants here. And if you guys want to be on the show, just let my admin know. We have Emoji J, Velma, and Capro. Please also make sure you're favoriting the top three gifters of the stream. Whoever the top gifter is, at the end, we'll get their name up here in the lights. A uh, little flyer, shout out IG, songs will be sung, and stories will be told. And now back to the game. All right, I'm going to get out the bonus round here. And we'll explain how it goes, and you can have a shot at the bonus round. All right, welcome. Congratulations, Beard Raider. On making it to the bonus round. All right. Now, here in the bonus round, you are going to choose numbers one through nine, and you're going to keep choosing numbers until you find three X's or O's in a row, or until you find a dragon. Here on the app, we want a dragon, but not in the bonus round, because if you find a dragon, you're out, and we're going back to the category board. All right, audience, feel free to shout out some numbers for Beard. Beard, you pick numbers. And keep choosing until you all find right. three X's or O's in a row for the dragon. Let's Find start two. with seven. Seven, all right. Lucky number seven. <laughs> Not so lucky number seven. Oh, man. <laughs> right off the bat, where were those three X's or O's hiding? You were thinking one, two, three. <laughs> See, we, oh when we God. want a dragon, we can't always find one. I'll turn them over so you know it's not full of dragons. There they were, four, five, and six. <laughs> That's okay, That's Beard Raider. That's the one that I have right there. I killed it in the first <laughs> round, and I did not kill it in the bonus <laughs> round. That does happen sometimes. This game yeah, can be wild. Yeah, I went cranky. That cheats. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <the number>. right? <laughs> uh, I love that with these nine numbers, I can have Wait, a different what? thing every time. <laughs> well, don't worry, Beard Raider, because you're going to have another shot at the bonus round coming up right after this. 
Um, so right now I'm going to go reset all my boards and we're going to get back to the category boards. But while I do so, we would love to hear a little bit about you two. Beard Raider, Deadshot, tell everyone what you have going on about yourself, uh, anything that you have coming up. Take it away. Go ahead, Deadshot. Um, as far as I know, I don't have anything else going on. Uh, right now my schedule is a little bit busy. But if I, if I do stream, I usually stream around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, like I said, usually my stream just consists of, you know, just anybody coming in, feeling welcome. We'll listen to some music, anything music related, any genre. And sometimes, you know, we'll run into the battles and do some trivia about it. That's awesome. it. He'll have stuff coming up too, because, you know, we're we're cool like that. So I'm a book them when I know. <laughs> yeah, I, the yeah, I see you did some shows. We just did a show that <laughs> shot. <laughs> right on, get in there. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's so great. Thanks so much. Writer. I don't yeah. really stream anymore outside of my show that I do Tuesday nights at 10. Um, it's called Love Bites. If anybody wants to be a guest, just hit me up um, on IG. Um, I've been doing it over here on Meet Me as opposed to POF lately because I get more views over here on the Meet Me. Um, so we're gonna stick with Meet Me for right now. I'm still team POF, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with it for now. Um, yeah, I docked my boat and, for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's in storage. So. <laughs> I uh, I I'm an admin for lots of shows on the app. I'm not gonna name them all because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Um, but hit me up on IG. I post. I literally post everything on IG. Um, if there's a game show that you want to get on or any show, um, if I'm not the admin, I know the admin because me and Emoji J, yeah. So <laughs> that's a bet. That's right. There you go. I, I, I talk to him almost every day, and we help each other out. So if you need to get on something, let me know, and you know, we we can work that out. That's what's up. And thank you so much. And Round of applause for both of you. And the, there's so much work that goes on behind the scenes. So anybody who's doing admin work, I'm like, woohoo. And uh, so, yeah, wow. thank you so much. And thanks so much, you two, for coming on the show. We're taking time out of um, your day and coming in and hopping in the box. And if you guys, um, you guys favorite these amazing people, please. And if you guys want to be on the show, uh, just let my admin know. Or if you know Beard Raider better, let her know. And she'll let yeah. OGJ know, right? <laughs> and if you ever go on No Picture Carlos with Marty Party, a question you should always ask is, do you know Beard Raider? Because it's easy oh. to figure out who it is when you ask uh, that question. Because <laughs> apparently everybody knows Beard Raider. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Thanks so much, you two. You guys make sure you're favoring these amazing people. Um, as well as, you guys make sure you're favoring the top three gifters of the stream. Whoever the top is at the end will be the stream king or queen. Um, they'll get a flyer and IG. Songs will be sung. Stories will be told. Uh, you get your name up here in lights. Uh, Mark Keep Yoder, time, a.k.a. Storm Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> was our stream king last day. Not even the Magic 8-Ball can determine who will be our winner here today, guys. So do oh stay God. tuned <laughs> till the end, and we'll see. All right, you guys, let's get back to the game. All right, and now, Beard, since you got to do the bonus round uh, last time, Deadshot, you're going to start us off this time. So, Deadshot, yeah. what category would you like? Let's just take a shot at Disney. Disney, all right, woo. Let's do a Disney, okay. Here is your Disney question. In a bug's life, in a bug's life, what is the relationship between molt and hopper? M-O-L-T, molt, who's molt? In a bug's life, who? what is the relationship between, oh, molt and hopper? Brothers. Brothers is correct. I didn't realize that guy's name was Molt. He was always like falling apart with little bits off of him. That makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's your O here? All right, Beard, over to you. What category would you like? Let's go 
Let's stick with TV and movies. TV and movies. All right, let's yeah. get into TV and movies question. It's not my normal go-to on the board, but like I like TV and movies, so. Okay. All right, here is your TV and movies question. Wow. In 19, what 1980 musical fantasy film was set in a nightclub and starred Olivia Newton-John and Gene Kelly? That's Saturday what? Night Fever. Saturday Night Wait, Fever? No. Okay, no, okay. No. What no. What 1980 musical no. fantasy no. film was set in a nightclub and starred Olivia Newton-John and Gene Kelly? Um, Xanadu? Xanadu. Xanadu is... Correct! It is indeed Xanadu. No, you had it right, Mark, with the X. Yeah, you wild. <laughs> the heck? Who knows that? Thank you, Mark. <laughs> It's sheet. I was like, I was this like, is a doozy as I read your favorite. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is wild. Oh boy. Okay, Xanadu for the win here. TV and movies. Okay. We're gonna go back to Dead Trot in our categories. We're gonna switch around here. That's it. All right. What category would you like, Dead Shot? Um Let's go with. Let's go with history. History. All right. Let's get us a Man. history question. Let's You're gonna leave okay. me with science. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here is your history question. What brand of computer made its debut in 1976 and reportedly sold for six hundred and sixty-six dollars and sixty-six cents? What brand of computer made its debut in 1976 <laughs> and reportedly sold for $66 and 66 cents? <laughs> oh, it's like every computer. You got yeah, all your choices. <laughs> they um, are your multiple choice. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Everybody just... <laughs> I feel like the one that I could think of is um, Macintosh. Like the old, that's as far as I could think of, Macintosh. Macintosh. Okay, and that is, is Macintosh Apple? Or is that something different? Uh, it is? Macintosh is yes. an Apple. It is, yeah. right? It is. Okay, okay, so then that is correct. <laughs> yes, Macintosh Apple for the win, right? Macintosh is an Apple, right? Is the type. Okay, there we go, that's what's up. Correct. <laughs> go Apple. Correct. What was that? That was history, right? Okay. No, excited. Oh, sheesh. All right, Beard. Ooh, we're out of time for three we're rounds. We're not going to, like, switch the board? We're not We're not switching the board? No, just for... <laughs> when it goes, you had me confused. No, just for when it goes back to Deadshot now. Because he's the first player I number. I guess I'll go to science. Science. All right, let's get a science for the block, you guys. Let's see what we got here. I have no okay. faith right now. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Let's get a science question for the block. Okay. Okay, here is your science question. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN was built to try to recreate the conditions of what scientific theory? One of the them. Large... <laughs> one of them. My favorite one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> The one I like the best. I I think it's I think it's one of them. Um, <laughs> the large you know hadron collider. He hasn't steered me wrong yet. So big bang. Big bang. All right. The big bang is correct. It is indeed the big bang. Woo! Way to go. Get it. I think we need to have Storm Chaser on the show. Hello. Mark, we're buddies. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <That's what's up. laughs> Woo! All right. Good work, Where's my O? Oh, that's X. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back over to Deadshot in our categories. They're going to switch around here. All right. And what category would you like? Mmm. Let's do sports. 
sports. All right, let's get us a sports question. All right, here is a sports question. What effect did Fox add to hockey games that it televised in 1994? What effect did Fox add to hockey games that it televised in 1994? Uh, uh, That's a pretend timer, by the way. There's no actual time. It's just for pressure. <laughs> uh, it was um, the. Uh, uh, slow motion. Slow motion. All right. Slow motion is incorrect. Incorrect. They highlighted the puck on screen is what we were looking for. They highlighted the puck on screen. I see where you're going with that, Mark. I see. <laughs> puck falling streamer thingy. I like that answer. He was like, right? And he was like, I can't say that as an answer. <laughs> is that your final answer? <laughs> That's what's up. Ooh, good job. All right, Beard, over to you. What category would you like? All right, let's go 2000s. 2000s. All right, let's get a 2000s question. All right, here is your 2000s question. What soap opera did CBS cancel in 2009 after being on the air for 57 years? We have this before. What oh, soap opera? Lord. <laughs> what soap opera did CBS cancel in 2009? after being on the air for 57 years. All right, class, I'm looking to you for this one because they're dudes. <laughs> they don't watch, they don't watch like, I didn't watch the CBS shows though. Law and Order is still going strong, CB. I know my Law and Order. I'm gonna go with Mark. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Mark and Four? Cause Guiding Light. <laughs> you gonna go Guiding Light? All right, guiding light. guiding light, final answer. All right, Guiding Light is correct. It is indeed Guiding Light. What the heck? I didn't Mark, you watch Do better, do better, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so proper I learned my thing. All right, All right we're getting an X for the Mine was Days of Our Lives in General Hospital. Oh. Those, those were the two that I watched. I thought it was like One Life to Live or something. What that was ABC. <laughs> what was the one where Marlena got possessed? What movie? What was that one? Do you remember that soap opera? I can't remember. Anyway. Right. I think that was Days of Our Lives. I think it might have been. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. That was yeah. With, with Stefano? Yes. Stefano. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stefano. 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 <laughs> Did I Not it wrong? that I like, those... would rush home from school to watch it or anything. You ever uh, patch uh, it? My mom would still at work. <laughs> oh, gosh. And if you're just getting here, you guys, this is Tic Tac Trivia. We're here every Saturday, 10 p.m. Eastern, for this featured show. Not that uh, please make sure. <laughs> I actually please am. make sure you're favoriting my amazing contestants here. And if you guys want to be on the show, um, just let my amazing admin know. And like I said, this is Tic Tac Trivia. My contestants take turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's or O's in a row. And if they do, they get a shot at the bonus round. We've already had one bonus round so far. Uh, unfortunately, the dragon did find Fear Vader, so she did not win that bonus round, but that's okay because we're on our way to our next bonus round right Tell now. me real quick, like the first <laughs> one. Right. <laughs> Please make sure you get the bonus that shot. Stay away from seven, okay? Right. Stay away from seven. Lucky number seven. That's right. Yeah. Not so lucky number seven. <laughs> I love when it's in seven. That's one of my. I get joy yeah, from that. I will listen to you next time, okay? <laughs> And please make sure as well you guys are favored in the top three gifters of my stream. Whoever the top gifter is at the end will get their name up here in the lights. A uh, little shout out on IG. Uh, flyer songs will be sung Obey and stories again. will be told. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's what's up. And right now in the top, we have Rebecca. And second, we have Beard Raider. I don't know if you favorited this. Is my count? And then we have Pika. Woo! All right. 
And now back to the game. All right, I forget whose turn it was because I did my whole spiel. Whose turn was it? Ditch? Yeah. Okay, our categories are going to switch around. <laughs> oh, no. All right. That's a champ. <laughs> A chance. So if you get that correct, you have the chance to go get it. If you get it incorrect, your opponent has the chance to steal. What category would you like, Edge? I'm going to go with... Deadshot, you don't have many choices here, my friend. <laughs> I'm just going to go with 90s for the block. 90s. You're going to go 90s for the block. Okay, let's go. All right, here is your 90s question. What affliction did Stanley's public defender have in My Cousin Vinny? What affliction Whoa. did Stanley's public defender have in My Cousin Vinny? Uh, I'm going to go with Mark and say the stutter. And say the stutter. Okay. And that is... Correct, correct. He stuttered or he stammered. That's right. <laughs> what? How do you remember that? <laughs> She's a good movie right there. Get in there, Mark. Right, right. <laughs> all right, and for the block there. Ooh, all right, Beard, over to you. What category would you like? This is a let's competition. Chance. Here. chance, all right. Block me, I'm going to block him. <laughs> All right, let's get you a chance question. And the category is? If it's science, I quit. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got general knowledge, general knowledge. Okay, here's your general knowledge question for the chance. So if you get it correct, uh, you get to go again. If you get it incorrect, uh, Deadshot has a chance to steal it. Who was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes? Who was the first person to win <laughs> two who is Nobel Prizes? Incredibly Prize. smart. <laughs> like super duper smart. Like Marie Curie, maybe? All right. Okay, is that your final answer? If it's correct, if it's not, then no. <laughs> <laughs> if yes, only it works that way. <laughs> All right. Are we going with Marie Curie? Yeah. Okay. Marie Curie is correct. It is indeed Marie Curie. Woo! Before, I don't think Ron Jeremy is the answer to any of these questions. <laughs> answer to every question one day that's gonna be the answer like i'm gonna find a question where that's like where i can still be pg but like <laughs> maybe he has a wine company i don't know i'm gonna find out anyway <laughs> all right beard that means you get to go again what category would you like let's go tv and movies all right let's go tv and movies Woo! <clears throat> the board is filling up here okay let's get you a tv and movies question okay here is your question what was 5,000 gallons of oats used to simulate in Jurassic Park 3 what was 5,000 gallons of oats used to simulate in Jurassic Park 3 um <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> For the dinosaurs, <laughs> everyone gets a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> you know All what? Right. <laughs> I I would go raptor poop. Like I I would that makes sense. Okay. Or, okay. Or, yeah, I would I would go I would go poop. Go or, poop? Well, sand makes sense too. Okay. I'd go poop. I'm okay. going poop. Okay, poop is. <laughs> Correct. Dinosaur droppings is what it was used for. Woo! And that means that you have three X's in a row, and that is tic-tac-toe, and you're headed back to the bonus round. Woo! 
Can but I don't take worry, that Dead Shot. With me to the bonus round? Of course. Well, you know what? Dead Shot still is not out of the game because if that dragon finds you again, then we are going to sudden death. <laughs> Because so I, I, like uh, I feel like I need help in the bonus round. Of course. Yeah. I didn't do so well last time. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I'm going to get out the bonus round, and we're going to see what happens. I am not going to pick seven again. Watch. <laughs> it's not seven anymore. It's not. <laughs> Welcome back to the bonus round. You're going to choose numbers one through nine. And you're going to keep choosing numbers until you find three X zeros in a row, just like tic-tac-toe, or you find the dragon. Here in the app, we want a dragon, but not in the bonus round, because if you find a dragon, you are out. And we are going to final sudden death. There's going to be death. That's going to happen. <laughs> All right, audience, feel free to shout out some numbers. And Beard Raider, choose what, numbers what do you one through nine. <laughs> right, so pick, pick, pick my first number. I'm a, let's go. All right, let's go with the last one that Klaus he said was three. Let's go with three. Three. All right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Woo! We, we did start out dragon. with the dragon. That's Woo! something, right? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta so celebrate five. those small victories, you guys. Five. Five, all right. All right. What you got for me, Deadshot? Let's go with the one that ruined you, seven. Oh, seven. No. All right, lucky number seven, you guys. They can't strike twice. I can't win. <laughs> Woo! Okay. All right, cool. Um... Let's go f four. Four. Okay. Eek! <laughs> what will happen? Let's go with uh, eight. 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 All right. You guys nervous? I'm nervous. Okay. Woo. Still in the game. All right. They're looking for three X with rows in a row and avoiding the dragon. All right. What number would you like? It's either one or six. It's got to be one or six. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go one, one, one. We're going to go one. All right. I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't watch. You got hey. it. Ooh. 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 Now where was our dragon Ooh. hiding? It was a six. Oh. It was a match <laughs> <fair. laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Congratulations. You got it. You managed Ooh. to evade the dragon. That it means like you're you a six. <laughs> that means you're our big winner today. Congratulations. Here's your tiny trophy that I can't actually give you. And yes. your pretend money. There you go. I, I, will, I will send you my address so you can send me my tiny trophy. So I can display it prominently behind me in everything that I do. Yes. Yeah. That would be awesome if I could like ship out tiny trophies. Right, I want again. my actual trophy. Thank you. Be like a little light bulb on there and a dragon or something. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Beard. Any words from the big winner? Speech. Speech. I want to hear from. I want to hear about Deadshot because he is a great. He's a, a great up and coming streamer. I absolutely adore him. I'm trying to help him get his name out there and and whatnot. And I don't want to talk about me. Let's talk about Deadshot. Like That's said, what's up, I'm, Deadshot. The floor I is yours. I really don't have much. The only thing that I forgot to mention is that. I'll be on uh, Artman's show, I think, it's either Wednesday or Tuesday midnight or something like Wednesday. that. Wednesday. Tuesday at midnight. Wednesday. When Technically Wednesday, right. But then when it's, yeah, yeah right? We um, get all mixed up with those midnight ones. <laughs> exactly. So uh, other, other than that, between um, Emoji and Beer Raider for putting me on plenty of shows, sometimes I got to fill in like last minute and it's cool. Like I don't, I don't mind helping out. If I can do it, I don't mind helping out. But like I said, I appreciate both of them for putting me and on. And he show. he forgot some big news too. He's also the newest admin for Ace Marsh on Heart Rate Fridays at four p.m. Yeah, so if you want to get on Heart Rate with Ace Marsh, 
you can hit this guy up right here as well as me yep. and emoji j and dream maker dream maker too dream maker yes yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. I told you. I'm, a, I'm yeah, telling see, you. That's what that's what I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still waking <laughs> up over here. If you were frozen or if you were just like holding the pose. Really? <laughs> Was it a good frozen nice pose? Because <laughs> you were just kind of like <laughs> she not moving. <laughs> Bringing back uh, the mannequin challenge. I, I feel it. I feel exactly. <laughs> mannequin challenge. That's that's the next battle we gotta get going. The mannequin challenge. Yep. yep. Oh, and you just like who can stay oh really? Who can, who that can would be stay fun. the longest? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. still frozen. Oh dang, that was weird. My internet left for a second. So anything Sorry, did, did about you, me, you can find on IG. Okay, I put okay. all of my okay. stuff on IG. Um, there's too many people to go through and name. Although I do need people for Friends Exposed this week on Meet Me, um, which is Thursdays at 8 p.m. So if anybody over here on Meet Me has a friend that they want to uh, know more about that's the show for you um it's it's a lot of fun yes 8 p.m eastern um no you it can't super fun. because you literally just did it last week on plenty of fish so you have to wait <laughs> i do feel that you got cheated i do i do feel that um but i i yeah i gotta i gotta wait but yeah if anybody wants to be on Friends Exposed, it's Thursdays on Meet Me at 8 p.m. So you do need a new okay, partner. Right, that, that's a fun show. <laughs> it is. I it didn't realize is. that that there were spicy and, questions when I. Yeah. And you don't <laughs> have to do it with somebody that you know. It's better to do it with somebody that you know. Right. Um, but you get that to know people. You get to know people very well when you play that game. Right. That's all I'm. The first say. time I did it, I didn't know. I was like, "Oh!" But then we did better because we're like, and the next time I went and ready to spin wheels yeah. so I could just have spicy questions. We studied. And, and we there's were like, not really so. much practicing that you can do. Because I, when I first did that show, I did it with Outlaw, and she was my best friend. And we, like, we yeah. literally sat there up until showtime, like our favorite color, our birthdays. Like, yeah. we made sure we had all of the, like, all of the facts you would think that they would ask. And then we got all so the questions. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So me and little Frankie did it, but we went over the spicy questions with each other. We studied spicy. So we went in there ready, ready to be spicy. <laughs> yeah. We, we did not, we did not study spicy. Um, we guessed and we lost by one point because I misunderstood one of the questions. Um, and we, we lost by one point, but it was okay. It was okay. We went back and we right. But really fun show next time, but you know, it, it's a fun Ooh, show. That's so. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely is. And I think going on with the right friend is a good idea. It is. Because <laughs> yeah. there's some friends where I don't want to know your spicy stuff. I really... <laughs> I've gone on with some people that I wasn't really that close with that I know way too much about now. <laughs> right. I'll be your friend class. When your 30 day when your 30 day timeout is up, I'll go on the show with you. Oh, there you, you go. You can, you can tell me if you want POF or meet me and I'll I'll go on the show with you. Oh, she's doing it on both? I was going to do mine on both too, but I haven't gotten to the... I don't want to know you see either! <laughs> My spicy is not Choose that your company. It is not that exciting. <laughs> and you guys, that was Tic Tac Trivia. We're here every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern uh, for this featured show. Well, I have two scheduled guests hop into the box and take turns answering trivia questions taking turns trying to get to the bonus round. Uh, Beard Raider attacked two bonus rounds today. <laughs> Unfortunately, the dragon did find her in one, but she did end up winning in the final. 
bonus round. So please make sure you're favoriting my amazing contestants as well as the top three gifters of my stream. In just a few minutes, I'm going to put a timer on the clock. We're going to do one minute on the timer. And whoever's the top gifter at the end of the stream will get your name up here in lights. A uh, little shout out on IG. Songs will be sung and stories will be told. Oh, baby. Uh, anything you're, else you're from you, my wonderful guest? <laughs> Nope. I just want to thank you for having me on the show. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks so much thank for coming so on the show. Thank you for having us. It was so much fun. I'm glad I was able to go up against Deadshot. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah. For sure, thank for you. Sure. That's this great. I love how you took him to the bonus round. Favorite. Favorite Yay. That's what's up. <laughs> I did take him to the bonus round because I was like, I didn't do great the first time. Like, I needed his help. I needed that was a fantastic help. strategy. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> And then if I lost, then I could blame it on him. See, that's the thing, right? That wasn't me that got the dragon. That was Deadshot that got the dragon. Yeah, just blame Deadshot. Everybody else does. Just blame Deadshot. Right? I try to limit the amount of decisions I make in a day. And this this round is decision making. So, you know, the the end result relies on your decision. Baby faces mayhem. I just prefer bearded faces. I had to shave mine, so unfortunately, I get but, a big hero. Uh, I mean, that's that's yeah. The, and she's that's happy the, to rate them. Uh, yes, those <laughs> those are the kind of beards that I like to rate. The the nice long beards. So yeah. Oh, okay, so a shorter beard gets like a a, a smaller rating. Okay, so <laughs> not beard. necessarily because like I have I have guidelines that I follow when I rate beards. Okay. So it's based on like patchiness, how well it oh. connects. So as long as you have like the good connection, if it's short, it's difficult to get a higher rating because you got to do a lot more for upkeep because like you right. got to line like it up. Effort. It's got to be, it, it's got to be lined up. <laughs> and if it's, if, if it's long, it's like blocking what you've got under here. So you're good. But if it's short, you got like your under, uh, your undercut and everything too. So it, it it's definitely, it, it's just definitely gonna put 60 hard seconds to... on while we chat here. We can chat. It's just a 60, se 60 second period. You're rating when, when you're, wow. yeah. <laughs> and if you guys right. want your beard rated, yeah. head over to Beard Rater and she'll rate it for you. The Beard Society Community Guidelines was published in 2022. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I actually, I actually recently found out that they have like national beard championships. They were going to oh. be in like Ocean City this year. I was so like, there is guidelines then. Ah, there, sure. there are the oh my God. guidelines. But I was like, how do I get to be an actual judge? Like, I have got to do this. Like, I want to yes. be in a okay. convention center filled with yeah. beard. And I want to yeah. race. <laughs> Just your dream. All right, 15 <laughs> seconds on the clock, guys. <laughs> Whoever the top gifter is will be our stream king or queen. And five Please seconds it is going left. To be Mark. <laughs> because Amish is a little too far behind. Way to go, Mark. <laughs> Woo! Mark was like, I don't want my name off the board. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, am I seeing it wrong? Good try. I applaud your efforts. Oh, yeah, it's showing me different. Okay, so... Woo! So Mark Yoder, a.k.a. Storm Chaser, is our stream king for the third week in a row. Round of applause. Thank you so Good much, job, Mark. Mark. Woo, and my guest, and you guys, that was Tic Tac Trivia. With your host, Lex. That's me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was so much fun. Oh, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>